So we want to start studying the end behavior, whatever that means, the end behavior of polynomial functions. We're going to be looking at their graphs, the graphs of polynomial functions. And the most important thing to identify is the end behavior. So anytime I write x arrow infinity, x arrow infinity, that means x is approaching infinity. So if we were to do a, a number line here, this is the x-axis, and x is going to infinity, that's going to the right. So anytime I write that, x approaches infinity, this is indicating the right side or the right end behavior of a graph. So I don't know, maybe we have a graph that does something like that on the right side, or who knows, maybe it goes down something like that. So that's just indicating x approaches infinity, that's indicating what's happening on the right side, the right side. Now, if I had x goes to negative infinity, I'm going to circle that in red, x approaches negative infinity, that would be x going to the left. So that's going to indicate the left end behavior. So maybe your graph's going up and to the left or down and to the left. So just be aware that x to, the, to infinity is right end behavior, x to negative infinity is left end behavior. Now, basically, there are um, four types of end behavior that can happen with a, with a graph. So we're going to write these down, the four. If I can get this to write, here goes. Four types of end behavior. Or polynomials. This is specifically for polynomials. So, um, number one. So, as you go to the right, as x goes to infinity, the y value goes up. The y value goes to infinity. So, what would that look like? So, imagine this. I have a y-axis and an x-axis. Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. So what this is saying is, as my graph moves to the, the right, my y value is going up. So that would mean that the end behavior of the graph would be something like this, right? As the x goes to the right, the y goes up, the y goes to a positive infinity. So that's what uh, x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity, end behavior looks like. Now who knows what else the graph is doing, right? The graph could be doing some other kind of stuff. We don't know. All we know is that on the right side, the y value is going up to infinity. Okay, so that's how we would write that notation. Uh, let's do another type that can happen. As x goes to infinity, y goes to negative infinity. So in other words, as you go to the right along the x-axis, the graph goes down on the y-axis. So let's draw an example of that. Here's my x-axis, here's my y-axis. So imagine here as x goes to the right, as x goes to infinity, the y value for the graph is going down to negative infinity, so going down in that direction. So if you were to draw this out, you would have something like, like that. As x moves to the right, y moves down. And who knows if, what else would be happening with this graph, right? Maybe something. We don't know. All we know is this right end behavior here according to how this is written. As x goes to infinity, y goes to negative infinity. Okay, so there are two types of end behavior. Let's do two more. Now let's look as x goes to the left. As x goes to negative infinity, y goes to positive infinity. What would that look like on a graph if you were to try to graph that? I'm going to draw my x-axis and my y-axis. So first of all, as x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to the left, that direction, y goes to positive infinity, so y goes up. 
So you'd have something like this in the upper left corner. So you have an arrow that's pointing up in the left side. That would be the left end behavior. So left and up, and then who knows what else this graph would be doing on the other side. Now, here's one more type of end behavior. This is going to be the final one. As x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity as well. Let's draw out what that would look like. So we have an x-axis and a y-axis. So as x moves to the left, as x, to the, x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity, y goes down. So on the left side, you have an arrow kind of going downwards. And who knows how else the graph would look like. You just know that it's falling down to the left, so something like this maybe. I don't know. There's your four types of NB behavior. Up and to the right, down and to the right, up and to the left, and down and to the left. Those are all the only four possibilities that can happen. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to tell you how to determine the end behavior of a polynomial given just the function. So let's say you just have the function. We don't have any graph. And we want to figure out what's the end behavior for this polynomial. So this is a theorem we're going to write down. I'm going to call it the end behavior for graphs of polynomials. It's going to call this theorem. It's a really important theorem that you want to know. You want to really get this well. So let's say you have a polynomial. We'll call it f of x is a n x to the n, a n minus 1, x to the n minus 1, so on and so forth, a 2x squared, a 1x, a 0. So this is a generic polynomial. So let this be a polynomial of degree n. So what does that mean? It's a polynomial of degree n. That means this is your largest term here. So that a n cannot be 0. The leading coefficient a n is not 0. And the largest power is a power of n. That's all that's saying. Okay, so here goes the first part of the theorem. The first part of the theorem is about finding the right end behavior. Right end behavior. How do you determine the right end behavior of a polynomial function? So it's all based on the leading coefficient. So number one, if your leading coefficient, we call that a n. If the leading coefficient is positive, positive, greater than zero means positive, then as x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. So basically the idea is you want to start off by looking at your leading coefficient. If your leading coefficient is positive, then as you move to the right, the y value is going up. The y value is going up. So that's this kind of end behavior like that on the right side. Number two, for right end behavior, if the a n is less than 0, that means negative. Then as x goes to infinity, y would go to negative infinity. So what that's saying is if I have a negative leading coefficient, a negative, negative, so I take my leading coefficient. If it's negative, then that means as you move to the right, the graph would move, be moving downwards. Moving downwards. Now those are the two types of right-end behavior that can possibly happen, depending on if you have a positive leading coefficient or a negative leading coefficient. So that's the first thing you want to do when you're trying to figure out the end behavior of a polynomial. You want to look at the right-end behavior. So focus on the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is positive. It's going up and to the right. The leading coefficient is negative. It's going down and to the right. Okay? So once you have the right-end behavior, then you're going to focus on the left-end behavior. Now, the left-end behavior is going to be determined by the degree of the polynomial, and you're going to compare that to the right-end behavior. So, one, if the degree of the polynomial, that's what we call n, so 
and that's this number right here, the largest power. If that is even, then as you move to the left, as x goes to negative infinity, y does the same as the right side. So remember, you already have to have the right end behavior before you can look up the left end, look at that left hand behavior. You have to have the right first. You have to have the right first. So if you have an even degree, then on the left side, you're going to be doing the same as the right side. If you're moving up on the right side, then you would be moving up on the left side. If you're moving down on the right side, then you'd be moving down on the left side. That would be when you have an even power, an even power. Number two, what happens if the degree, that's your largest power, which we call n, is odd? So you've got an odd power. Then on the left side, as x goes to negative infinity, y does the opposite. The opposite of the right side. So you already have to know what's happening on the right side. So if you had an odd degree polynomial, if the right side was moving up, then the left side would be moving down. If you had an odd degree polynomial and the right side was moving down, then the left side would be moving up. So you're, you have to find the, the right end behavior first before you find the left end behavior. That's really critical. Okay, so here we go. I want to do some exercises where we find both right end behavior and left end behavior. Consider each polynomial. The instructions here are to describe the end behavior as x goes to negative infinity, that means as x goes to left, and as x goes to positive infinity, as x goes to the right. Now remember, you always want to do the right side before you do the left side. Always do the right before the left. You have to. So our first polynomial function here is 4x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 1. So what we're going to always do first is the right end behavior, the right end behavior. So I'm going to say as x goes to infinity, what does y do? We'll figure that out. And we're going to focus on the leading coefficient. is positive or negative. So this is all dependent on the leading coefficient. So we're doing right end behavior as x goes to infinity. What does y do? So I'm going to take my leading coefficient. So that's going to be the coefficient or the number in front of the largest power term. The largest power term is x to the fifth. Our co coefficient is 4. So since we have a coefficient of 4, since that is positive, since you have a positive leading coefficient, what does that tell you about the y value on the right side? That tells you that the y value goes to infinity, right? So if you have a leading coefficient that's positive, on the right side, you're going to be going up. Your y value goes to infinity. Okay, so once you have the right side, we're going to now do the left side. So what happens on the left side? What happens as x goes to negative infinity? What does y do? And to determine that, we're going to focus on the degree of the polynomial. Is the degree even or is the degree odd? Well, let's look at the degree here. The degree here is it's the largest power of x. The degree is 5. So that's an odd degree. 
right? Odd degree. So when you have an odd degree, that means the left side is going to be doing the opposite of the right side. So I'm going to say here, opposite of the right side. If I can spell opposite, opposite, right? How do you spell opposite? O-P-P. -P. Opposite of right side. Okay, so we had an odd degree of 5. That means we're doing the opposite of the right side. So on the right side, y was going to infinity. So on the left side, we're going to be doing the opposite. y is going to be going to negative infinity. And that's it. That's everything we need to do. So just imagining what this graph looks like. You don't have to draw this, but I'm going to go ahead and give you an idea. So we know as x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity. So our graph is doing something like this on the right. And on the left side, as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity. So on the left side, y is going down like this. Now who knows what's going on in the middle exactly? It could be doing something like this. I don't know. But all we know right now is the... The right side is up, and the left side is down. That's all we really know. The end behavior, as you might call it. All right, let's do a number two. Let's have a look at the following function. f of x equals minus 3x to the eighth power, minus 6x to the third, minus 9x. That's a polynomial of uh, neg negative leading coefficient, right? So focusing on the left side, I'm sorry, the right side, the right side, the right end behavior as x goes to infinity, y is going to go to what? Since the leading coefficient is, what's the leading co coefficient here? It's minus 3. That's negative. So I have a negative leading coefficient. That's going to tell me what's happening on the right side. On the right side, as x goes to infinity, y is going to be going down, so to negative infinity. So you have a negative leading coefficient. On the right side, you're going down. OK? So next, we want to look on the left side, as x goes to negative infinity. So you want to focus on your degree here. Your degree here is odd. So y is going to be doing what since the degree of f of x is 8. 8 is not odd, right? 8 is even is even. Underline that. So you have an even degree even degree. So when you have an even degree, the left side is doing the same as the right side. So I'm going to say this is the same as the right side. So as you go to the left, as x goes to negative infinity, y is going to be going to negative infinity as well, because remember, on the right side, you're going to negative infinity. So you're doing the same the same as the right side because you had an even, even power degree. Eight powers even. Okay, so just draw that out if you wanted an idea kind of about the graph of this polynomial. On the right side, as x goes to infinity, y goes down to negative infinity. On the left side, as x goes to negative infinity, y goes down as well to negative infinity because we had the even degree. And who knows what's happening in the middle, but maybe something like this. We like that. We don't know exactly. Oops. Who knows, right? I put some dash long, dash curves in there. So down to the right and down to the left. Okay, let's do a number three. Let me get some water here. So number three, let's see, what do I have written here? I have a number three jotted down. Yeah, I have one. <coughs> <coughs> f of x equals 34 x to the 16th power minus 9x to the 8th power 
plus x to the fourth minus 33. Okay, so that's a polynomial, and we're going to focus on the right-end behavior. So to focus on the right-end behavior initially, as x goes to infinity, we want to focus on the leading coefficient. So what does y go to? Well, since you have a leading coefficient, 34, which is positive, positive leading coefficient, that means on the right side, y goes to infinity. Okay? Now, what about on the left side as x goes to minus infinity? What will y go to? Well, since the degree here, what's the degree? The degree here is 16. Now, since the degree of f of x 16 is even again, that means on the left side it's going to be doing the same as the right side. So even degree, you're going to be doing the same on the left side as the right side. So on the right side, remember it was going up to infinity, so on the left side it's going to be going up to infinity as well because we have that even degree. All right, so let's draw this out just to get a kind of an idea of what's going on with the end behavior of the graph pictorially. So on the right, as x goes to infinity, y goes up to infinity, okay? So up and to the right. As x goes to negative infinity, in other words, to the left, y is going to be going up as well to infinity, so up and to the left. And who knows what's going in between, right? Who knows? Some crazy stuff could be happening in between. We don't know. We're not analyzing that yet. We'll maybe try to analyze some of that later. Okay, well, we're going to do one more example of this end behavior analyzation for polynomials. Well, let's say we got f of x is minus x to the 21 power plus 4x to the 20 power minus 8x to the 10 power plus 64x squared plus 128x plus 256. So I want to focus on the right-hand behavior always first as x goes to infinity. What's y doing? Ooh, that's wrong. What is y doing? Well, since the leading coefficient here What's the leading coefficient, right? It's the number out in front of the largest power term, so negative 1 is the leading coefficient. So since that leading coefficient is negative, what can you say about the y value as you go to the right? Well, the y value goes to negative infinity, right? So as x goes to infinity, y goes to negative infinity. And as you move to the right, the y goes down because you have a negative leading coefficient. All right, what about on the left side as x goes to negative infinity? What will y do? Well, you're going to focus on your degree. So since the degree here of the function is, what's the degree of the largest power here? Is 21. Since that is odd, you're going to be doing the opposite of the right side. What's the opposite of the right? Well, the right side was going to negative infinity for y for y, right? y was going to negative infinity, so the, the left side is going to go to positive infinity. So you could say on the right side you're going down, on the left side you're going up. So drawing that out, just kind of a very generic graph of the ends. On the right side, x goes to infinity, y goes to negative infinity. So as you move to the right, the y goes down. And on the left side, as x goes to negative infinity, y goes in positive, positive infinity. As you go to the left, you go up. So something like this. And who knows what's happening in between. You could have all kinds of crazy stuff happening in between. So just a very generic looking graph of just the ends, pretty much. Yeah, so we got four types. I've covered all four types in these four examples. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit further analysis of polynomial graphs.